Alright guys, and TTC and YouTube, what's going on? So, I'm not going to talk about the Lakers tonight, sorry to say, but I do want to talk about my soccer team going into the UEFA Champions League Final. <clears throat> you know, for some of you, those of you who don't know, this is pretty much the Super Bowl of Europe, if you want to call that, you know, the, the soccer Super Bowl, if not, and pretty much the best teams in Europe play each other, and the Super Bowl, in this case, is this Saturday, at uh, 11:45 p uh, a sorry 11:45 a.m. Pacific time, you can check it out on Fox, most likely your Fox channel. Uh, but this is huge for both Inter Milan and uh, Bayern Munich, the two teams in the finals. So the winner obviously will get a treble, which is winning three titles. Both teams won the cup and won the domestic title. Um, so th this is for all the marbles, pretty much. This this UEFA Champions League title game. Uh, few thoughts on this is that, for, as an Inter fan, from my perspective, uh, this could very well be the last game for Jose Mourinho. Uh, he's been talking about not liking the Italian um, football media out here, and he's almost like he wants to leave, but he's loving his time at Inter. Um, this could be his last game, because he, someday he does want to coach Real Madrid, and I know those at Real Madrid definitely want to have him as a coach. Um, but what he's done here at Inter has been very strong. I mean, two years and now we're in a Champions League. We're final. I mean, we were we hired him pretty much for this purpose alone, was to really be competitive in Champions League uh, games. For Inter's uh, roster, it's very loaded. I mean, if you want to talk about things being turned around in a season, guys like Diego Milito, Samuel Eto'o, um, also uh, Lucio, I believe, is also another key addition we had. Diego Malta turned out to be alright. A lot of those key guys came in late in the year, uh, or sorry, at the end of uh, last year. And then in the middle of the season we got Goran Pandev, who is a uh, very solid striker when, when his contract with, La with Lazio was having issues. Wesley Snyder, I almost forgot, was also a key uh, midfielder who can really pass. Uh, and uh, I have to say, he does really well on the free kicks. The question for Inter coming into this final is the mental game, and uh, the mental game is going to be a big issue, I think. Uh, they're going to be focused, that's for sure. It, it was a rough stretch throughout Serie A, and uh, as well as through the Coppa Italia. They were kind of losing here and there, were getting draws when they didn't want to, because they were focusing on this Champions League. Esteban Cambiasso will be key in the midfield. Uh, the defense for Inter is very strong and very tactical. I mean, that's pretty much the stereotype of Serie A uh, football. The Italian uh, style is always defensive and tactical. They're, on the other side of Bayern, it's going to be very... Uh, they have a very good mental toughness in the game. And what I mean by that is that when they're down, they still fight hard, and they're playing to the final gun when they play. Uh, they were down to Manchester United early on in the, both legs, they, but they were able to fight back both times, and they were able to really regained their composure uh, to the end. They got some guys, very key players, Iron Robin, who is a, a magnificent uh, midfielder. He can strike the ball from long distance. They got to watch out for him. Also, Ivana Olek, uh, Iva, sorry, they got Olek, sorry if I pronounced it wrong, but he's the other guy who's been stealing uh, goals. Like, he'll get the steal upfield and later score a goal out of it. Got to watch out for Mario uh, Gomez. The one person who's suspended for uh, this game is Frank Ribery. He had a red card in, in the game against uh, Leon, the first game. For Inter, uh, Thiago Malta has gone from his red card that, I believe, PK uh, fakes his way as an injury, and he got red carded for that, so that's who's going to be gone. But Inter, once again, needs to maintain their focus. They're considered the favorites because we slain Barcelona. Uh, we'll see what happens in the, in the overall final part on Saturday, but it's definitely going to be intense because both teams are really going to be playing for a treble. That's, trebles don't come very often, but it, it's crazy that both of these teams can win a treble with a win on Saturday. Uh, but lightly, you know, Diego Melito has been one of our players of the year, and so has Samuel Eto. Uh, both guys coming in off transfers uh, when we got rid of Ibrahimovic. Uh, we also we bought Melito from Genoa. Really big 
uh, contributors at goal scoring. Sure, they don't score as much as Ibrahimovic has, but they've scored in the clutch. You know, Melito scored a couple goals, both in the Coppa Italia and against Siena on Sunday. So, very clutch. And then Samuel Eto'o was able to score that big goal against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. So, that's something we wouldn't been a have been able to do with Ibrahimovic. Very good, solid backfield behind Maicon and Lucio and Walter Samuel. But and also Julio Cesar has been should give a lot of credit for this season. Like he made some key saves throughout that game against Barcelona. There were some free kicks that he was able to stop. So once again, mental focus and really stay on task at, at on offense. We'll see what happens on Saturday, but I'll have a post game. We'll see you guys later. Forza Inter.